We've seen this before. We've got the upright arrow being projected through the convex lens onto the screen far away. That's uh, a meter and a half. And here is my finger. I'm going to go from the bottom to the top. Oh yeah. Everything's upside down for sure. So now what do you think is going to happen if I take this calculator and I start covering up the lens? I'm going to go from top to bottom. Now wouldn't you think that I'm going to start covering up the bottom of the arrow with everything's upside down? Let's see. Okay, I don't get this. Half the lens is covered. More than half the lens is covered. Do you see how much of the lens is covered? And I can still see the arrow up there. It's just a little dimmer. It's bright. It doesn't seem to be cutting off the top or the bottom. It's just totally getting dimmer. I have this little tiny sliver down at the bottom now open. Alright, now I'm serious. I got the light bulb inside a little tissue box to block the extra light. Just the rays are coming straight at the lens. I've got the lens covered with just that little sliver showing. And with just that little sliver showing, I have the whole arrow up there. How's that work? So now we see the image formed on the other side. How many light rays do we say? We only have these two, but there's actually many more. Well, here's the third light ray, but there's others. So we only draw the easy light rays, but there's millions of light rays all forming the tip of that arrow. So even if I block all of these light rays out, I still have that bottom sliver which can form the image.